Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll be making this lady's purse or clutch. This purse is very similar to the multi-purpose pouch that I made in my last video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll give the link in the description box below. The only difference is the curved shape on the top of the purse. The final length of this purse is uh, 8 inches and width is 5 inches. Okay, so let's get started. Here, I've taken two pieces of the main fabric whose width is 6 inches and length is 9 inches. Since the main fabric is very thin, I am using two pieces of the fusible interface of same dimension and two pieces of lining of same dimension 6 inches across 9 inches. First, I am going to fold the interface in half like this and mark a point 1 inch from the top corner like this. Now I will draw a curved line from the folded side to this point. And I will cut along this line like this. This gives a nice curved shape at the top of the purse. Now I will mark a point 3 fourth of an inch from the bottom corner like this. And make a square at the corner like this. Now I will cut the square part like this. So this is going to be our template for the purse. I am going to use this template to cut the main fabric and the lining fabric to this shape. Here all the fabric pieces are ready in shape now. So let's start stitching. First, I am going to keep the main fabric with its round sides facing upwards like this. And I will take the interface whose shiny side should be facing the wrong side of the fabric like this. You can use hot iron such that the glue melts and gets stick to the fabric but I prefer to give stitch at the end of both the fabrics. Now it's done. This is how it looks like. Here I am measuring the curved side of the main fabric to decide the length of the zipper we need for this purse. So this is 9.5 inches. Now I'll cut the zipper of length 9.5 inches. In the next step, I'm going to keep the right side of the zipper on the curved side of the main fabric like this. I'm going to use the sieving clips to keep the zipper in place like this. Now I'll give a stitch along this curve with 1 cm seam allowance. Now it's done. Next I'll keep the lining fabric with its right sides facing downwards like this. 
I am using sewing clips such that the lining fabric sits right on top of the zipper like this. I will give a stitch along this curve with 1 cm seam allowance. Now it's done. You can see here the zipper is sandwiched between the main fabric and the lining fabric. Next, I'll repeat the same step with the other piece of the main fabric. I'll keep the right side of the zipper on the curved side of the main fabric like this. I'm trimming off this excess zipper. I'll give a stitch along this curve. It's done. Now I'll place the right side of the lining fabric on top of the zipper like this. I'll give a stitch along this curve. It looks something like this. Since the zipper is in a curved shape, I'm going to move the zipper towards one side like this and give a top stitch. Next I'm going to move the zipper towards the other side and give a top stitch again. Once done, it looks something like this. Here, the right side of the main fabric and the right sides of the lining fabric are facing each other. I'll use sewing clips such that the seams are one on top of the other like this. Now I'll mark two points which are 3 inches apart on the lining fabric like this. Now I will give straight stitches along these lines such that this 3 inch space remains unstitched and all these gaps remain unstitched. Now it is done. You can see this space is unstitched here. Now I will open one of the corners on the main fabric like this such that the seams are one on top of the other. I'm going to use sewing clip and give a straight stitch. Similarly, I'll do it on the other side of the main fabric as well. Now I'll do it on the lining fabric. Once done, it's going to look like this. Now, through this space, I am going to turn the right side of the fabric outwards.
lastly i am going to save the 3 inch space that is kept open here on the lining fabric Here I'll push the raw edges inside like this and give a straight stitch on top. Now it's done. You can see here no raw edges can be seen on the lining fabric as well as on the main fabric. And our purse is ready now. I hope this video was helpful and easy to understand. Please let me know in the comment section below how you liked it. Please support my channel by hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.